This past year, I've received overwhelming feedback that it's hard or sometimes confusing to access the many resources Artist Strong has to offer. I also constantly hear from mentors and people inside the group. I have a lot of free things going on for the people. It got me thinking, is there a way to categorize the artists in our community and help them find the resources that best help them wherever they are? Hi, my name is Carrie Brummer and I created Artist Strong to help artists like you build your skill and develop your unique artist voice. Today, I want to talk to you about the four categories of artists I tend to serve and what are these categories called? I call them your artist archetype. After years of serving this community, these four archetypes keep showing up, and already it's helping me come up with new ideas for content to serve each archetype more consciously. First, we have the curious creator. This creative feels novice or somewhat new to art and is super enthused when exposed to new ideas, techniques, and media. They're often nervous to use that A word, artist, when talking about themselves. Second, I introduce you to the skill seeker. This artist is seeking new strategies to up level their skill after plateauing. This creative knows they're capable of more in their art and feels sometimes limited by their skill to achieve the results they want in their art. Then we have the many media explorer. This artist is super excited about multiple art materials and has so many projects going, sometimes it's hard to know what to work on or finish. They also have so many art supplies, they might be able to set up their own art supply store. I can't tell you how many relate to that statement. It makes me giggle each time I think about it. My mom is for sure a many media explorer. Finally, we have the activated artist. This artist is working towards a series of artwork or has a portfolio already completed and is looking for next steps to expand their voice and reach. I chose the word activated because I see these artists as people who want to take action with their art. They want to show, sell, or participate in community work that involves art. I'm not sure I've uncovered all of the artist archetypes yet. I'm thinking I may uncover more in the future. But after realizing I worked with these four groups of artists, I decided to spend more time looking at the many free resources and reflecting on which ones best serve each archetype. This is why I've created the Artist Archetype Quiz. It's a quiz that helps you see which of the four archetypes best connects you right now in your artist journey to the resources that I have available to you on Artist Strong. Wouldn't it be great to show up to a website with a list of free resources designed for exactly where you are as an artist? If this sounds like fun to you, you can take the quiz, which is linked below. I've also updated our homepage, artiststrong.com, to talk about our space and the archetypes, which you'll also see linked below. I even set up the quiz to make it entirely free. You don't even have to give me your email address to get your results because I only want you to join if you want to be part of the Artist Strong community. Once you take the quiz, Come back here and in the comments below, tell me your artist archetype and one new thing you can apply to your artist practice after uncovering your archetype. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time here on Artist Strong.